sign can't stop me because I can't read. Yeah. Alright, so uh, stop me if you've heard this one before. Gaming journalist is too illiterate and stupid to read that he's not supposed to leak any information or share anything about a game that's in an early build stage that he has access to. It's times like this I am so grateful I didn't decide to become a gaming journalist. It's a career path you can tell the majority don't want to share at the dinner table anywhere they go as a guest. Tom Warren being one of them. Because one Google search is all it takes for people to find stories like this one on the guy. Unfortunately, it's a career path that solely exists for our entertainment and not to actually serve any meaningful purpose. Everything from The Verge's PC build to Dean Takahashi's gameplay of Cuphead to Feminist Frequency, there isn't a single thing gaming journalists won't completely f*** up. If I ever pulled off something like The Verge did when they completely messed up that PC build, remember the legendary this is how you don't build a gaming PC video that Verge put out? My credibility would be flushed down the toilet and nobody would ever take me serious ever again and I may as well kiss my career bye bye Yet for some reason, The Verge, like a cockroach, continues to thrive after nuclear war. Somehow. This publication continues to operate after such a disaster. Their ability to continue failing upwards needs to be studied. It's a phenomenon, seriously. So, Deadlock, Valve's new upcoming game I got early access to, and I'm not going to say anything because you're not supposed to. Now, some of you are probably surprised about that, but it's okay, you're not gaming journalists. You're not required to know everything. The majority of people most likely just clicked right through that early development build notification, like it was another terms and agreements page. Understandable, but uh, if you're someone like Tom Warren, it's very crucial that you read this because look what it says, Deadlock. It's still early in development, with a lot of temporary art and experimental gameplay. Do not share anything about the game with anyone. If those kids could read, they'd be very upset. See, this is very important, especially if you're a gaming journalist, because Valve isn't legally binding you to not share information. They are trusting that you won't. And if you're a gaming news publication, that trust means a lot. If you break it, don't be surprised if Valve never lets you get access to anything ever again, because they'll know who did it They'll know who you are, so don't be surprised when they pull the plug and say no more support for you, no access for that publication. And yet, the journalist will still give you a Pikachu face like, what? There's consequences for what I did? How? And what's it with all the people criticizing me for being so stupid? Of course, none of this was going through Tom Warren's mind when he posted this. We played Valve's secret new shooter, Deadline. It's like Overwatch, Dota 2, and Team Fortress 2, all baked into a pie. I don't want to be a pie. It's been nearly five years since Valve announced a truly new game, and counting, Valve has still not announced Deadlock, its new hero shooter that takes cues from Overwatch, Dota 2, and Team Fortress, and more, but that hasn't stopped nearly 20,000 people from trying the game, including me. And I'm not under NDA. I have signed no contracts and made no verbal agreements. I haven't even clicked through a EULA. This message does pop up when I launch Deadlock, but I didn't click OK. Instead, I hit the escape key and watched it disappear. So I, I'm i not a trained like journalist or anything like that. Uh... <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, what a douche. Oh my God. So uh, that's his story, huh? Th that's his reasoning. He didn't click OK. Well, you are never going to get in any legal trouble, but just because you didn't click OK doesn't mean it doesn't give Valve a right to still pull your axis from the game. Earlier today, I received a no strings attached invite to play Deadlock on Steam. Well, that's not true. There were strings attached. You weren't supposed to share it. You weren't supposed to tell people that was the agreement. What do you mean no strings attached? There was a caveat in place. Don't pretend like there wasn't. 
I mean, I don't know why you're being so disingenuous in your own article. My best guess here is that uh, Tom made the same mistake everybody else made. He probably just clicked through it and didn't realize. Probably just thought it was another terms and agreement page. In which case, all you have to say is sorry, but no, just lie to everybody. A clear lack of professionalism, and that's probably really what's irritating everyone. And by the way, in general, you don't want to just skip EULAs. You're ignoring at your own risk. I mean, that's just stupid. And then to go on and write an entire ass article like Valve wouldn't notice? Uh, are you guys stupid at the verge? I mean, don't answer that question because it has an obvious answer, but still. Why would you intentionally burn the bridge with Valve for some clicks? Wh why would you risk it? It doesn't make sense. Valve providing you guys early access is only beneficial to your website and you're willing to throw all of that away for one measly article when you could have had over 20 different articles oh my god so goddamn incompetent so stupid so it brought me great joy to see this stupidity punished when tom updated the article to include this tidbit update august 12 turns out valve was not fine with me trying deadlock with friends i've been banned from matchmaking oh well Please feel free to make fun of me in the comments. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> no, Valve was not fine with you sharing that information in a whole fucking article. You were supposed to keep your thoughts to yourself. I mean, yes, you can share the link with friends on Steam. They're not going to be punished for that, but you're not supposed to write a goddamn article on it. And obviously, no. You're not okay with people making fun of you in the comments because you limited replies on Twitter. Nobody can reply to you. You can't take the criticism. Every quote tweet I see is a ratio. The literal first thing that appears when you open deadlock is a message requesting that you not leak any of the alpha. This is an absurdly unprofessional move from The Verge here, but anything for that first scoop, I guess. This is brain dead. Exactly, like the British kid said. Very unprofessional of Tom. Honestly, it would have been so much better for Tom if he just plead ignorant, say he didn't know. It was an honest mistake, apologize, take down the article, but no, instead he writes within the article that he chose to ignore this. So then he got community noted and started hiding replies. And then eventually set it to followers only. And he started mass blocking people who dared to criticize him for it. As a matter of fact, this was his own reply to all the critics. This meme of Lisa Simpson <laughs> looking at the keep out sign that says, or enter, I'm a sign, not a cop. Or uh, how about this jackass he retweeted? It's so disappointing that the verge did not honor the legally binding Hey, be cool, bad screen at the beginning of Valve's unannounced game that has 20,000 current players. Hell, some of the critics in those replies think that Valve banning Verge was petty for it. What? These goddamn journalists think they're entitled to everything. People legitimately feel they don't deserve to be banned for not respecting Valve's terms and conditions. All you have to do is wait till they're okay with you leaking info. How hard was that for the Verge to do? I don't understand. People think they actually deserve to stay playing the game after breaking like the one request they had? I mean, again, we're, we're talking about a publication that posted a PC build guide that could have destroyed millions of people's PCs. They never hold themselves responsible for jack shit. They only silence criticism, Tom Warren style, and only retweet everybody that fucking fluffs them up and agrees with them. I don't know why, but for every single like 10 journalist haters, there's one journalist defender. And they get a lot of support for defending journalists because well, you know, usually these folks and gaming journalists share very similar politics. So they always have each other's backs. Liberals, I hate them so much. Tom's like, one defense is I did not sign an NDA. I did not sign an NDA. I did not sign an NDA. Yes, we know you didn't, but you still agreed to something. Well, technically you didn't. Your team ignored the EULA, and you guys admitted to it openly, so if Valve read your article and saw that, then they have every right 
to ban you guys from matchmaking. It's simple as that. Why people think The Verge deserves to still be playing this game and be reporting on it when they weren't supposed to be anyway is beyond me. What has The Verge ever done for you? What have they ever done for gaming? The only notable thing to ever come out of The Verge was the worst PC building video of all time. And yet we're supposed to sympathize with that publication? No, it's run by purely incompetent buffoons with a massive ego. So big, they really thought the rules weren't going to apply to them. How hilarious is that? Could you imagine how beneficial it would be to the industry if The Verge just stopped getting access to anything? This is why. This is why we can't have nice things. Tom. You asshole! In legal terms, Tom Warren is fine but his feelings remain hurt, and I love it. I highly recommend everybody go check out Tom Warren's replies. They are hilarious. The man is getting ratioed by nearly every single reply. It's a thing of beauty, really. It couldn't have happened to a more deserving publication. Get frit-pilled. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you so choose to. Got more salt on the way. See you in the next one. <laughs> Every Congress sucks ass. <laughs>